I got two artists that I signed, like two of my artists. Two Damn, you are not artists. playing. A little dude named Rollo mm -hmm. and another one named No Cap. They actually are. So I guess at one point, Lil Baby signed you or, or no? Nah, I, I, ain't, I didn't sign a Lil Baby. I'm telling you, straight up, I don't know. I'm like, bro, I don't even know how to. Right. You feel what I'm saying? Nigga just like, you run with me like you my artist. I'm going to figure it out. Like, yeah. But I'm going to figure it out. All right. You feel what I'm saying? What's up, Rizzo fam? Lil Baby and No Cap haven't been on the best of terms for quite some time now. They were brothers once, making music together, trying their hardest to make it in a rap game, but the minute that money and fame got in the way, things between them quickly changed. And not for the good. Their relationship went completely sideways. But it looks like now we might finally have an answer on what really went down and why Lil Baby thinks that No Cap should stay away from him for good. The story of these two starts in Mobile, Alabama place where Lil Baby and No Cap grew up and spent their childhood days. However, they weren't the only two rappers on the come up associated with Mobile. Rilo Rodriguez, who was also tight with both of them, was also from Mobile as well. Rilo and No Cap had a tight bond that's still a thing to this day. They grew up together, started making music together, and while Rilo was always keeping his music affiliation close to Lil Baby, No Cap had another type of plan. You see, No Cap was sitting on two chairs at the beginning of his rap career. On one side, he was kicking it with Lil Baby, and on the other side, he was making music with the NBA crew. This didn't seem like that big of a problem at first. However, once the sides were starting to be claimed, that's when stuff started to fall apart. Out of the three, the one who got a hold of a more serious clout was Lil Baby. After that, he claimed Rilo and No Cap were a part of his record label, even though they weren't, actually. So, the first one who managed to drop more than just a single was Lil Baby. He dropped his street gossip track in 2018, and it really caught a ton of attention. That's when it became official that Lil Baby was on the come up, and he was growing in the industry quite rapidly. He had features with big boys such as Meek Mill, Gunna, and Young Thug. However, he also had two of his homies from Mobile on the mixtapes too, Rilo and No Cap. During his interview at The Breakfast Club, he claimed that he signed both Rilo and No Cap, but it wasn't necessarily like that. Two artists that, I'm, that I signed, like two of my artists. Two Damn, you are not artists. playing. And a little dude named Rollo, mm -hmm. and another one named No Cap. They actually hard. You know what I'm saying? He didn't have a record label that he could actually sign him to. Rather, it was more of like a future plan. Since Lil Baby, Rilo, and No Cap were all doing music together, he figured that one day he could sign them all to his own record label. Before that, it was more of a verbal agreement than anything else. Lil Baby didn't even know how to start a record label, let alone sign someone as his artist. When he got asked about signing Rilo in more detail, he explained that he really didn't know how it goes and that he was still trying to figure it all out. This is what he said. <laughs> I don't even know how to go. Right. You get what I'm saying? Like, far as, like, giving you my money or investing my money, you, like, I'm telling you, straight up, I don't know. I'm like, bro, I don't even know how to. Right. You feel what I'm Nigga just, like, you run with me like you my artist. I'm going to figure it out. Like, yeah. But I'm going to figure it out. Right. But when No Cap started talking about being signed to Lil Baby with DJ Vlad, he specifically said that he wasn't signed to him at all. It was just a matter of rocking together with Lil Baby. He was still an independent artist. During that interview, No Cap said something that would quickly manifest in his relationship with Lil Baby. He said, As you grow in your career, you start learning more and you, you start expanding by yourself and then you get more busy where you can't kick it with somebody that just constantly. You get what I'm saying? You could already tell that by the way in which he was talking about the whole situation that he really wanted to make some distance between him and Lil Baby. But why? Because at the time of the interview, he was already on the Never Broke Again team with Youngboy. In May of 2019, he would drop his mixtape, The Back End Child, and it was the first mixtape that he did with NBA as his label. It's kind of obvious that No Cap made his decision in regards to who he wants to produce his music with. Lil Baby surely felt some type of way because of this. I mean, Lil Baby did so much for No Cap's career. He promoted him as an artist on social media, he gave him cred by featuring him on Street Gossip mixtape, and he allegedly gave him cash as a sign of respect. Lil Baby was expecting No Cap to be patient until his 4PF label started rolling and he'd eventually sign No Cap, just like he did Rilo. Unfortunately, that never came about and No Cap went with NBA. From here on out, Lil Baby was nowhere to be seen on No Cap's tracks. Now, Rilo did a feature on his back end child mixtape, but that was the last time that No Cap would work with any 4PF artist. In fact, from here on out, Lil Baby and No Cap they started beefing with each other even on social media. While the beef between the two did stay pretty low key for like a year, it became public once this post got out on Instagram. It was a picture showing little baby's family tree with no cap on one of the branches. This agitated no cap, so he decided to repost the picture with a huge X 
all over the family tree. This type of stuff was bound to catch the attention of not only Baby, but the whole 4PF game. A little after that post came to life, we saw a track from Lil Baby, Dirty Tay, and Cold Hard Savage called Catch Up With Him. The track was a no cap diss, and some of the lyrics were meant for no cap. Heard he dissing in his songs with 4PF? He better not mention. He used to be my dog, but he switched up for a petty penny. No Cap has something to say about it too in retaliation. In his one story on Instagram that's been removed since, No Cap told his side of the story. No Cap rapped over a beat and he even referenced the track Dreams to Reality that he and Lil Baby did together at the beginning of his career. I ain't changing up on Rilo, but we probably gotta cut it loose. As long as he stick around me, Baby ain't gonna drop his music. You had wanted me to sign before my time, I just couldn't do it. Turn my dreams to reality, I thought you'd be glad for me. Damn dog. I'm proud of you. Practice what you preach. You mad I went and got a bigger bag? What type of street? I was trying to eat and put my mama on her feet. You could see that he was hurting too. He felt like little baby wasn't happy for him like he expected him to be. People noticed it too. Damn, I want to see both of them shine. They're really putting on for a city like never before. The biggest rappers we ever had for real was Mr. Big, Senile, and Rich Boy with that one hit wonder. Hopefully it all works out between them. I like how he put verses from dreams to reality feel the real pain. But then Lil Baby would go on to diss No Cap in his track again with a couple of lines that had No Cap name on them. They go, and this ain't No Cap, I get money for real, that little boy ain't run up no commas for real. He trying to diss me, that shit ain't gonna get to me. I can't give poop ass dude my energy. He say that shit when I see him, then he'll see. No, they mad cause they ain't taking a seat with me. Later in the verse, Lil Baby will go on to say how No Cap can't come to Atlanta and that he should stay away from him. If he does turn up in the ATO and does anything stupid, he's gonna regret it. The lyrics go like this. He can't come to the A, he on punishment. Catch that boy out of place, we gonna punish him. Take his chain and his watch and some funny sh No Cap wasn't gonna quit now. In his tracks Quarter M and No Hook, he raps to how indeed he can come to Atlanta and that if anyone has a problem with that, he'll be sending his sh to solve the issues. As a matter of fact, every time that he was in Atlanta, he would post Instagram stories from his car and brag about where he was at. He even posted a tweet saying how ATL is his second home. The beef would quiet down between the two when No Cap went to jail for violating his probation. But since then, the two haven't really been going at each other. Interestingly enough, even though Lil Baby is standing between the two, Rilo and No Cap are still on good terms. When he spoke about his relationship with Rilo, he said that they're still cool. He was asked if the relationship is still alive, and he replied, Hell yeah, for sure. And you know, like, niggas on this side, I'm on my side. The, whatever internet shit, I'm guessing that's about nothing. Ain't about nothing. Okay. They ain't did nothing to me, they ain't did nothing to nobody. It's everything, everything. Clearly, these two are still okay, and it seems like the stuff that happened between Lil Baby and No Cap doesn't really affect him right now. Perhaps we'll see them come around. Respect to Rilo and Cap for not letting beef get in between them. While the two are still on good terms, it seems unlikely that we'll see the two drop music together anytime soon. Rilo is still tied to Baby's record, and Lil Baby probably won't be down to clear the record if they make one. You hate to see it, but it happens quite often. Chasing money and status has changed a lot of relationships in the industry, and will surely continue to do so. Although, it should be said that there is a lot of misunderstanding between Little Baby and No Cap that got in the way of them being cool, not just for chasing the sack. If they were more direct with each other in terms of their future moves, this beef in between them may have been avoided altogether. Sadly, this wasn't the case, and all we got to see was two talented rappers going at each other for no good reason. But what are y'all thoughts on Little Baby and No Cap? Should No Cap stay away from Little Baby? Is there any way that these two could solve their problems and start making fire music together again? Let us know what you think all about it down in the comments section below. If you like this video, be sure to check out all these other ones. And as always, remember to keep your drizzle.